In this video, I will show how to set up Retrofit 2 library to your Android application project. So let's start. First of all, we create Android application project and call it Retrofit Tutorial. And here we set uh, company domain. And here we set uh, where our application is saved. And here click next. And here we select API level, uh, API 9. Uh, should be OK. Click Next. Here we select uh, what kind of uh, template we are going to use. Uh, we will use Empty Activity. And here everything is OK. And click Finish. Now we created new Android application project. Next step is to add Retrofit library to our project. In order to add uh, Retrofit, we should add uh, Gradle dependency uh, of Retrofit library. In order to find Gradle dependency, you can open a square.github.io slash retrofit. And we go down and find uh, Gradle dependency. It's here. Uh, we copy it. Now we open uh, Gradle scripts. And inside it, we open build Gradle module app. So we are opening build Gradle file for our app module. Now, inside uh, dependencies section, we put uh, this dependency. And here we click uh, this button, uh, sync now. Now we add a Twitter feed library to our project. Next step is to add internet permission to our application. For that purpose, we open androidmanifests.xml file. Inside it, we add internet permission. Now let's open main activity. Inside main activities uh, on create method, we create retrofit instance. Here we should set base URL for our API. In this video, we will use IPFI API. So uh, let's open it. It's IPFI.org. So let's copy this. And let's put. And in the end, do not forget to put slash. Next step is to create Java interface uh, for our API. So uh, let's create it. Now we created a Java interface, uh, which we called API. Inside it, now we create one method, which gets IP address. Here you can see that we are going to send get request. And this one slash means that uh, we are going to send request to base URL. Uh, as you can see, uh, this method returns call response body. We will use a response body to get a body as string. Now let's create instance of our Java interface. Now we created uh, instance of our Java interface. We can use this instance for several times. Next step is to write code that sends a request to get IP address. After calling get IP method, we call NQ method, which helps us to run code asynchronously. To NQ method, we are passing uh, instance of callback, uh, which has two methods, on response and on failure. On response method is called when response is received. So it doesn't matter, uh, response code is 200, 300, or 400, 4, 500, it doesn't matter. So this method is invoked. On failure method is invoked when network exception happens. For example, you set 30 seconds for timeout. After 30 seconds, if a server doesn't respond, on failure method is invoked. Another example, when device has no internet connection. So IO exception happens. In that case, on failure method is called. Note that only one method will be called, on response or on failure. So now uh, let's write our code which gets a IP address and shows in a logcat. Now everything is ready. Uh, when on response method is invoked, we get response and we get body of that response and convert it to string. And we will show it in a logcat. 
So now let's run this code and see the result. Select your device here. Now application is running. So here we can see the result. We showed IP address uh, in a logcat. This video is part of Retrofit course. In description below you can find coupon code using which you can buy this course with discount price.